are you glad for this to be over? Yes. <laughs> yes, very glad. <laughs> what makes you answer so quickly and so confident? Because um under I feel like under ideal circumstances this would have been a decision that I made well before January, but with everything that's happened with like delayed admissions decision, delayed financial aid awards, and just the overall application process has been so different for people who are seniors this year. And I feel like everything right now is just, how do I describe it? It's, it can be very stressful and very, is strenuous the right word? If that's the word you choose to use. Okay, well, if that's the word I don't know, choose. yeah. I would say the tours were the most fun because even outside of just looking at the campus, just being in a whole different environment and just the possibility of, oh, I'm going to spend the next three to four years of my life in a completely different state. And it's just like, I guess it's getting real. The fact that like, I'm older, I'm not going to, there's a lot of decisions that I'm going to have to make by myself or I guess independent from y'all <laughs> um and it's just like for so long you're like oh I can't wait to graduate I can't wait to like see where life goes and now it's here and it's just like wow I guess all that time really just flew by moving so fast yes mm -hmm. senior year really does go by really fast not in any particular order um Howard Xavier. Um, hmm. I want to say Bowie State. Um, Baylor. And the fifth one, Gremlin. Those would be the top five. What advice would you have for one, parents, and also students as they uh, begin the next steps to partake in what you just, uh, you just did? I would say take advantage of taking more advanced courses. And in because you can take advanced courses in middle school and in high school, Definitely take advantage for either AP or if that particular high school offers any um, college courses through a community college, take advantage of that because it prepares, it prepares you in the sense of you're getting used to rigorous courses, you're getting used to doing something that's not the norm, or you're getting used to being pushed in areas where you may not have been pushed um, before. I would also suggest to more specifically like sophomores and juniors, retake the SAT if you can, study for the SAT. I did not, <laughs> I regret doing that. Um, I would say as much as possible, take advantage of any extra tutorials you may have or any outside um, support that is available um, avoid complacency as much as possible. That's one of my, probably my biggest regrets that I had in high school. Um, make sure that you branch out, that you make friends. Not to say, like, you can't just hang out with just one or two people for high school, but definitely find people who share your same interests and don't be afraid to try something new. There was a lot of new things that I tried that I did not see myself doing at all. Um... Did I miss anything? Uh, Tell us about some things in your journey that served you well. That served me well? Definitely leadership roles. I, I'm the vice president of um, Health Occupation Students of America at my school, and I'm also an officer in, fe in Fellowship of Christian Athletes. I think being a leader in those two organizations definitely prepared me for prepared me in the sense of knowing how to properly manage my time organization. Also knowing that there's going to be a lot of moments where 
there's going to be things dumped on you that's not that wasn't necessarily your responsibility and a lot of things that you will often have to I don't want to say go behind people but just do more to make sure that everything is above the standard and it's like quality work and quality present like presentation last thoughts well looking at the comments on your posts a lot of people may be surprised by my decision why do you think that well because it's not <laughs> um because well i'll say this i don't think church people will be surprised well at all well dad talks too much so <laughs> i don't think they'll be well even besides the people who i told and the people who you told at the church um because they said I should go there. Well, besides the Moors, they said that I should go there, too. <laughs> <laughs> so so, so you, pick the, you pick the top five. Pick the top five. Top three. Top three. <sighs> top three in general? or top, Well, my top three, no. actually. Uh, the last three standing were um, Howard, Xavier, and Gremlin. Let me be a dad and brag. Now I'm I'm gonna include this in the video too. So today you've been entered you've been accepted into how many schools? I believe it was thirty two. Thirty two? You sure it wasn't more than thirty two? Probably was, but some of them I took off the list. We did. Okay. So thirty two schools to date, how much in just merit offers have you received? Um one point three four six million dollars. Good the last job. time I checked. Yes, a big number to talk about. Before you started the application process, did you ever really even think or even conceive that you'd be, you'd reach that big of a number? No. <laughs> I thought maybe we'd hit like the, maybe like the 500K mark, but definitely not over a million and almost to... Are you settled on the decision that you've made? I'm settled on the decision that I've made. Do you think Do you think you need to sleep on the decision anymore? No, sir. Okay. So, come this fall, where is Taylor gonna be? In this fall. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You trying to be LeBron? Um, in this fall, I've decided to take my talents to New Orleans and attend Xavier University of Louisiana. They produce um, the most amount of black doctors out of any college, HBCU or PWI, in the nation. Um, I think that school has a lot of support, a lot of programs, and it's very, and it's not and it's something that I know will challenge me, and I know something. It's a pro, it's a place that'll prepare me the best for what I want to do, and who I want to become. And what do you want to become, my dear? I want to become a cardiothoracic surgeon. Anything else you want to say before you go? Um. I don't know. Other than. Nah, mm -mm. I was just gonna say Jesus is the homie, but. <laughs> <laughs>